my marvelous muses. How are we doing, guys? Whoops. Turned my flash off. Sorry about that. There we go. So, today we're going to work on the, um, the elephant head mold. I have a friend of mine who wants something for her mother. Uh, her mom likes elephants. And, uh, I did her, the, I did my friend, the purple elephant, uh, the little one that has the baby on it, uh, trunk. But this one here, I'm going to do something a little different with. Uh, this one here, I have a wooden, I guess it's a wooden canvas board type thing. Um, I'm going to paint it, and I'm actually going to mount this inside of it. And I have another plaque. I may put it on a plaque. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I'm going to mount it to a piece of wood. So uh, that's the plan for this. But I want to brush it with some mica powder. And then we're just going to mix up some resin here. Um, somebody had asked me yesterday when I did the resin for the uh, Zen Garden, Succulent Garden thing, whatever. Uh, several people had told me what that possibly was. I just, the, for me, those things on the end look like stairs and they really confuse me. So, uh, <laughs> everybody was like, it's a Succulent Garden, it's like a Zen Garden type thing. I can see that, so... But it just, it was so confusing. I was like, those look like stairs. Why do they look like stairs? <laughs> but somebody had asked me. I mixed up my resin. Um, and then I ran it through the debubbler. And she had asked me why I didn't run it through the debubbler prior to putting in my mica powder. I mean, after I put in my mica powder. Normally, yes, that would be a great idea to do that. But I wanted to use... I wanted to split my resin up, and I was too lazy to pour it in multiple cups and <laughs> redo it. So I just kind of said, you know what, I'm just going to mix it up, and then I'll stir gently and add my stuff in. But yeah, normally if you're going to mix your colors in, you can mix your colors in and then put it in the debubbler. So then you don't have to worry about stirring bubbles into it when you put your color in. Uh, like I said, I was mixing it up because I wanted to finish... This lid, and I didn't want it green, obviously. And then, uh, what else did I pour? Oh, and I topped off this. And obviously, I didn't want it green. So, that was the whole reason for not putting the, the mica powder in the resin and then putting it in the debubbler. Uh, today, we're just going to put the whole thing in the debubbler. I'm going to pour the lid to this today as well. So, I'm just going to do clear resin for now. Uh, this ain't, I may tint it black, so what I may do, yeah, no, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it the same way I did yesterday, uh, just because I've got resin that I want to use in something other than this. If it was just this, I would put the black in, mix it all in there, put it in the debubbler, and let it debubble, but because I don't want black in the lid for this we're going to do something different so uh, I'm going to brush chrome mica powder in this mold I'm brushing some chrome mica powder in here chrome mica is in here it's going to be pretty Oh my goodness. I'll be so glad when next week gets here and I can get my storage shed. Because the weather's nice enough now, I can get out here and I can really work on this room. And get it organized the way I want. Which is 
going to be amazing to be able to have room out here and get it organized how I want to be able to store my stuff. Because right now it's it's a mess. I can't find anything. I've got stuff everywhere. It is a disaster. It is a disaster. All right. Okay, so that is good there. Use my switching sponge. So that we're going to mix. Actually, I could do black, huh? Because this shows up really good on black. Hmm. Nah. I, well, I don't know. I kind of thought about doing blue, but it shows up really good on black. What does it look like on this? So if I did the glitter in the back there it would work huh if I did that in the bottom let it cure put this on it and then pour clear over the top okay so that's what we're gonna do then I'm gonna do glitter in the bottom of there I'm gonna put this down in the jar if I forget where it's at remind me guys I put the sticker in the jar because <laughs> I can see me a couple hours from now going where did I put it all right I'm gonna put you guys on pause I'm gonna get my gloves on mix up some resin here and we'll be back and for our resin See you in a minute. Okay, guys, we're back. So I got my resin mixed up here. I put a black mica powder in here because I cannot find my black pigment paste anywhere. I've got to look for it today. I'm going to work on my room here in a little while. I got a headache. I'm going to go back in the house for a little bit. But when the headache goes away, I'm going to come back out here and do some more organizing or try to. Like I said, I've got to wait till I get my storage shed. Hopefully in about a week or so. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to pour the bigger portion. I mixed up six ounces of resin here. I'm probably not going to need six ounces. But I didn't want to run short. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then this one here. We don't need much. Plenty. All right. I didn't think about it. I should have stirred this with just a tiny bit in it right at first, but that's all right. I'll mix it really good. So. Resin has no bubbles in it today. Weather has warmed up a little bit from the way it was the other night when I was mixing it. So I didn't even have to run it through the deep bubbler. Uh, I'm using the Bond Crafters resin. Uh, just from the one time I've used it, I'm really impressed. I've heard a lot of great things. Uh, a lot of y'all commented in the comments that you guys have used it, and it's amazing. And I, like I said, I've seen a lot of my friends on YouTube using it and like I said these are people that I trust to give it honest opinions so like Mary over at resin me up and different ones like that if the, you know if they say they're using it and it's good then it's I take their word for it so when they reached out to me I was like yes please I'd be thrilled to try it and like I said just the one time I've used it so far super happy with it so we shall see here All right. So 
we can't spray any alcohol in here of course because we poured or because we brushed it with mica powder I may need more like I said I don't know if I have it if I need it I have it here I don't think I'm going to though Now that works like almost perfect. And I don't want to dome this because I want to be able to mount it to a board. There we go. Well, it's going to shrink back some, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Not quite doming it. There we go. All right. Now we have our little lid for our jar. I've already added the glitter in. We just got to put the sticker in and pour some clear over the top. So don't need a whole lot of room left on the top of the sticker to cover the sticker with. Oops, okay. Alright, so I have some resin left here. I'm going to pour an extra. Uh, yeah, we'll just come back whenever I'm done and see what I ended up pouring. I'll see you then, guys. Bye. Hey, we're back, so it's done. Let's take a look at it and see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that turned out gorgeous. That is so pretty. Now, I did notice... Yeah, I did notice I, I ended up not getting all of the... Not getting all of the uh, tusks. But what I'll do is I think I'll put a gem in each one of these. Yeah, I think I'll put a gem in each one of those. Now, this is my idea here. And I don't know how he's going to look in here. See, what I want to do is something with this. I was going to do it this way, but he's too wide this way. Now, I can put him on the front this way. But I think that's... It's an awful lot of space around him. Now, I, there's a couple ideas. I had one just to do this in straight black behind it. Maybe a little bit of silver on the edges or something. Or other idea here find it. Yeah, here it is. I have like jungle here we go 
the tree. I thought about doing that in the background. That's really all I, I mean, I've got the tree, I've got the hut. I can put the hut down here at the bottom, but I don't know. I think that's too kiddish. For him. Sorry. Uh, I've also got a bunch of different vinyls I could use. So like a textured vinyl on there. See, I thought about doing that. I have that textured vinyl that I got. Hang on, let me grab it right quick. I'll show you what I'm thinking here. Pretty sure there's a silver or a black in this. You see this textured vinyl here? Let me open it here and see what we got. Let's see what we got here, guys. Okay. We have this one here. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Ooh. I kind of like that. I could put that on there. And then put him on. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Definitely. Okay, let me put you guys on pause. I'm going to cut, cut a piece of this to fit on here. And we're going to put it on and see how it looks. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So I put this on here. I didn't do the sides because I'm going to do the sides different. Uh, but I put this on there. I gorgeous. That is so pretty. Look at that pattern in there. So, and then I went in and I just added him a few little black highlights on here. I did it off camera because I had to bring it up close to me. There was no way. And even then, they're so tiny um, that I was having issues coloring them with the marker. So I just kind of touched over them lightly. Uh, I did his eyes. And then I'm going to go in here with a couple, like I said, of the gems. And I'm going to put them right here in the end of his tusks. And then i got to figure out if I'm putting him this way or if I'm going to put him this way on here. So, uh, we're going to do his tusks first and then we'll figure that out. So now, the color, what do I want to do? Do I want to do silver? Or do I want to do black? They're already kind of black behind it. I really don't want to do a different color, I don't think. Because I don't have another color anywhere else on here. So I either want to do black or I want to do silver. Let's see, what do we got there? No, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Where'd it go? I gotta find out where it went now. So what do we think, guys? Do we think silver or do we think... Maybe silver. Because there's an awful lot of black. So let's do two... Let's need two of them there, okay. Alright. Oh, 
one still in there? Well, I don't know where it went. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I see it on there. Come on, flip over. There we go. All right. Run down. Okay, there's that one. There it is. I was like, what'd I do with the pencil? Alright. Come on. Okay. What in the world? There we go, that one's on. Now I gotta find where the other one went. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Okay, so I gotta get another one out. Gotta get another one out here. I don't know where it went. Huh. Okay. I'll find it later when I'm not looking. <laughs> there we go. As long as I don't lose this one, we'll be alright. <laughs> Come on, flip over. It. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. I'm just not on there all the way. There we go. All right. So now I'm gonna pour probably tomorrow or later. I'm gonna pour some. Um, Actually, I may have some that I don't even have to pour. I'm thinking like corner pieces here to go around. Also, I'm not going to glue them down tonight because I'm going to wait to hear back from you guys. So, if I'm going to do corner pieces, like decorative, I'm not going to do wings, but if I was going to do something like in the corner here, just for example, because I have molds to do that with, do I... Do him this way. Or do I do him vertical? Because I kind of think this way might work. Because it, his ears being wider. And then I could just attach him. What do we think? So 
So do I put him like this, guys? Or do we put him vertically? Because uh, this way is kind of cool. I don't know. I like them both ways, so I don't know. But I feel like this way enhances, makes him look bigger. The other way kind of makes him look small. Yeah, I think that's going to be cool. And I think I'm going to do the edges in silver. Since it's pretty much black and silver. Everything's black and silver. It's actually really cool. I kind of want to make something similar for myself. <laughs> but not, I don't know about black and silver. Maybe black and this copper color. That color or what other color do I have here? I'm looking to see <laughs> what the colors I got. Here we go. So we got a brown. Brown copper and that black. This is kind of a cool color. So yeah, I may have to make me one. I kind of like that. I don't like it. Alright guys, so... Uh, I'm going to pour some clear in here. When I do tomorrow night's project, I remembered I put my whale right here. <laughs> Take the sticker off here. I have glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. May have to do my tape trick. May have to do the tape trick. Yeah, we're going to do the tape trick. There we go. It's a well with, it is well within my soul. It is well with my soul. And then I'm going to put a couple of these little things on here. Probably a jellyfish. Maybe a starfish. I don't know. Let's do the jellyfish to start with. See if we need more. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, it's way up there. I wondered. I was like, where is the thing at? All right. Let's see. Well, let's do this one right here. Okay. 
We got our jellyfish on there. Maybe a couple of shells and a starfish at the bottom, I think. Let's do, let's do the shell here. And uh, maybe this piece of coral here. There we go. And in a starfish. Uh, do I want a blue starfish or? Yeah, uh, let's do it. This guy. Put him in front of the coral next to the seashell there. There we go. That's going to be cool. We're going to pour some clear over the top of that. When it's done, then that'll be the lid. For the blue sparkly jar. So, alright guys. Let me know in the comments. Vertical or horizontal. What do you think? Vertical or horizontal? Give me some ideas. So, I'll show you again both ways. So, you see it. So, this is horizontal. And then this, this would be vertical right about here, like so. I feel like he looks small here, but I feel like if I turn him this way, he feels bigger. Is it just me or? I don't know. Let me know, guys. And we will wait, and I will glue him down when I hear from you guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.